When you go into a double header, do you expect to see a performance like that? <laughs> I don't know. It was like a tale of two uh, two different teams right there. I mean, the first game was a short short game. We really did a great job with the short game. But the next game, we started a little bit with the bats. And, uh, you know, thank goodness for Alexis Mack coming through. That was a big RBI right there in that situation. And then, of course, uh, April Utec hitting a nice home run. But what you say about Ulster's performance, that was tremendous. Uh, her ball was really moving. She was hitting locations in and out. I wouldn't want to bat in my hand up here tonight. She was, uh, she looked very, very good. Did you tell she wanted a rebound performance after her, her, her first loss? I think so. I think so. You know, that, that's a kid that really cares about how she does, and she felt bad about how she, the way things kind of ended for her, uh, you know, on, on Friday. Um, so I think she couldn't wait to get back out there and, and prove to herself that she could do it again. Is the prep any different in the back end of a, of a doubleheader for a star like her compared to, you know, just one game on the day? No, not necessarily, because you know, we play quite a few double hitters preseason, you know, so it's kind of what we used to. We haven't had to play for in a while, of course, but uh, you know, she knew what the rotation was going to be. We wanted to give Kleist a, a bit of a day off, and so it was big that Ballant came through with a complete game for us. I think it's her, her first one since uh, Gulf Coast, Florida, uh, you know, a few weeks ago, so it was good to see her bounce back. She struggled at times, but at other times she did pretty well, too. You guys get back to Pac-12 play with Arizona coming in. Yeah. What, do you, what do you see from them? <laughs> a lot of left-hand pitching, right? You know, there's been McQuillan, McQuillan, and McQuillan, probably, but... Uh, you know they're they're a very good team. Um, you know they coach well, of course, and they have multiple facets to the game. They have a good short game. They have some speed, you know, good power, uh, and of course McQuillan is pitching very well. So uh, right now, the, this is what we're going to prepare for in the next two three days. The brand have gone the whole way if it had been like say a ten to three game. And kind of routine? Um, probably, more than likely, probably. Uh, I would have asked Kleist if she wanted some time, you know, if she wanted to just get out there and you know, dust some cobwebs off or whatever. You know, sometimes pitchers like to throw a little bit during the week, but uh, she said she wanted to work more on a full pin, actually. So the plan was to have, uh, have Alice out there the whole game. You got a good rotation of players you know, defensively. Were you pretty consistent or happy with their performance today? Yeah, yeah. Just, I mean, like I, you know, I said the other day, I want to give my players a, a, some more time today, and uh, you know, I'm glad I stuck with UTEC out there. I mean, she came through in the end, and uh, sometimes it's hard coming in the pinch hits and just getting one at bat. So it's good for them to get three or four at bats, get a feel for the game. Uh, obviously, you know, I, I put in my top rotation at the top there, uh, you know, defensively to, to help protect that. <laughs> I won't say the word, but you know the perfect game, of course. You, know, you want to make sure, and it's a close game too. So, uh, and it gives those players, and, uh, you know, practice coming in off the bench and coming back into rotations. Is everybody sensing what a game it was? With the no uh, oh yeah, I mean you you know it. I mean I don't know what they were doing on bench, I and mean, sometimes like nobody wanted to get near the pitcher, you know. So I don't know what they were doing over there. Nobody was saying anything though. There was no there was no jinx thing up there. So, uh, but you know, of course. I knew what it was <laughs> going all the way through. So. Alexis has been swinging the bat well yeah. um, with her and along with other players. So you guys try to like simulate different pitcher styles in practice? or? Uh... Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, you know, a lot of pitchers have been throwing him more up in the zone, trying to get her to put the ball in the air. And uh, so we've been working on that with her. Uh, obviously, you know, with this new rule that you can't be out of the box, that's been, a, that's been tough for her. So for her to still be batting over 400 and taking into account that she's had to change some things, drastic, drastic things actually, and on her run-up and her timing and everything, I think she's doing very, very well. Two totally different games. The first game, there was a lot of scoring. The second game, kind of, what was it, kind of held you guys tied at 0-0 for a while. What did they do differently with that meeting? Maybe you guys struggle in the batting box a little bit. Well, I, I think she used her off speed pretty well, and um, you know we were just impatient. We weren't letting the ball travel. It's, it's pretty hard going from a weekend where you're facing 70 mile an hour and you're up there and you're facing 60 all of a sudden. It's a 10 mile an hour difference. But that also tells me we're not seeing the ball very well. We're not tracking it very well. So there's some, there's some learning things there and as well. We have to be better at staying inside the ball and have better timing in those situations. You get a little anxious when Miranda's putting together a performance like that, and you guys can't uh, put the runs on the board. You always, you know, you always get worried that you know, there could be that one lucky hit, you know, or you know, and then a home run pops out of the ballpark, and all of a sudden you get lost, you know. And, uh, we've seen that happen already this year with a no hitter by twice, <laughs> you know. So nothing's out of the question in this game, and you take nothing for granted. So whenever you can get some runs, you hang on to them as much as you can.